Today, I'm going to share with you how to start a successful coaching business from scratch. Perhaps you thought about starting a coaching business, but something's holding you back. Maybe you've heard it's way too full. Maybe you heard that you need a certificate, that you need to go to school and study and learn how to do all these things. But to tell you the truth, you really don't. And I'm going to share with you some steps, some strategies for you to start a successful coaching business from scratch. One is when you start thinking about your coaching business. And I talk about this when I show, share with people how to create their own course. Start with your most impressive result. Your life experiences. See, when I first started coaching, what I could coach about was mindset. Because that's what I had to work on myself to get where I needed to go. See, I had limiting beliefs that were just holding me back. And I just really had to work on myself to get there and to build myself up to where I could say, hey, I'm a coach and I can help you build your business. So I don't know what your most impressive result is. It could be losing weight. It could be learning how to ride a bike when you're 82. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But start with your most impressive result and go from there. Maybe it's being self-disciplined. Maybe it's learning a whole new way of living. But start with your most impressive result and start working with that in your coaching business. The second thing is when you're working, is when you're doing your coaching, start outlining your process. What do you do with somebody? Right now, I said just a little earlier, do you need a certificate? No, you don't. Well, guess what? When I started coaching, I didn't have one, but I since have gone on taking coaching courses because I wanted to learn how to put a course together, but I also wanted to learn how I could teach people. And I've taken three different certifications. Unbelievable. Everyone was different. And they all had a different routine. They all had a different way that they start people coaching. So what happens is you need to outline your process. If somebody's going to start coaching with you, what are you going to do? How are you going to coach them? You know, what questions are you going to ask them? How are you going to talk to me? Are you going to do a Zoom? Are you going to record it? Are you going to do it face to face? The biggest thing is learn how to be a listener intently. Look in their eyes, watch their lips, but learn how to listen intently. And when I say that, I say it for a purpose because most people, including myself, listen thinking, well, what am I going to say next? But when you learn how to listen intently, do you know what happens? is the people you're coaching and talking to, they tell you what they want you to talk to them about next. But you only get there if you're listening to them. So when you start coaching, your most impressive result, that's what you're gonna coach on first. What have you done? Or what do you want to achieve maybe? Outline your process of how you're gonna coach them. And what is your process? You know, start thinking about this. And you can find a way, and if you need help, I can help you with that. I, I have questions that I have. Actually, when I start coaching with somebody, I have documented questions that possibly will be there when I'm working with people. Okay, now, the third step, and this is before you start coaching. You need to build your brand. And when I'm talking about building your brand, you need to go on and, uh, whether it's on social media, whether it's in an email list or whatever, you need to start giving value. You need to start talking to people so they see you talking about some things that they want to learn more about. All right? See, my brand, I'm a former teacher. So my value is teaching. That's what I do. Always has been. Always will be. So you want to start building your brand on social media. Oh, pick one platform, not, not 11. One platform... And then just go from there and start building your brand. Start teaching daily if you can. Just small little tidbits. The best way I believe you can build a, a brand is by doing video. Uh-oh. And right now it's short form video. But I would say you start doing video today. Get a YouTube channel. 
and I shared this in a different video, whatever you're going to coach in, go search that in Google, in, in YouTube, how to, whatever, and then find some people you want to listen to. And when you go to their page, their YouTube channel, hit videos, and then the right hand side, there's a filter and hit popular. And then go see the videos that are connecting with people. And that's how you start building your YouTube channel up. Okay, now the next one. You want to create a beta offer. Now, I, I, I did mine a little different, but by beta offer, you can offer a coaching program. Let's say you're going to do it on discipline or on mindset motivation. You could offer an inexpensive beta offer for a discount in exchange for a testimonial. Because what you want to do is you want to get testimonials. You want to be able to put them on your website, put them in emails, shoot them out to different friends. But you want to start building up testimonials if you can do it. So there you have it. Now, when I talk about beta program, I, I got to restate this. Yeah, I was in a coaching program, an outstanding program. Uh, and what we did, we practiced coaching every day. In the coaching practice, we'd get in a room, the Zoom room, three people, and we rotate spots. There would be a coach, a client, and an observer. And from that, when working with those people, after we coach them, we'd also reach out and say, hey, would you shoot me a short testimonial? It was just outstanding because all of a sudden we had testimonials on coaching we actually did while we we're learning a system or a process for that course. If you would like to know more about that, I can help you put something together and we can do some practice coaching. So there you have it. Do you need a certificate to be, start a coach? No. How do you start a successful coaching business from scratch? Start with what you know. Outline a process. Build your brand. Get testimonials. And coach, either through a beta program. Now, I don't suggest free, but if there's a process to do a couple free training coaching sessions, then I would do that. So there you have it. You all take care. In the description below, I have a couple free links on coaching, creating courses, and if you want a free coaching session with me, you can schedule it right by one of those links. You all take care. I am blessed and so are you.